Okay, hey, I'm shooting this video for Craig Meathead Goldman for a reason. Uh, you saw a video of mine with my uh, racking system for ribs and wanted some information about it. So I'm sending you this video so that you can take a look at it. But we also said, you know, it's kind of confidential, and you know what, I, I take your word, if went from one Chicago boy to another, we're going to not talk about this except between ourselves, right? Good deal. So, Craig, here's the deal. I'm going to show you the, the product and how it's designed and some other stuff, and I really appreciate your input. The main thing is, is this a doable deal or is this just some goofball thing? Up to you. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Okay, we all know the standard uh, great configuration for the WSM. We've got a, uh, a grate on the bottom that sits right above the water pan. And then we've got one more grate that fits on the top with handles on it. Okay, so there's, we got two grates. Let's see what two grates means in terms of space. All right, two grates in relation to uh, my Weber Platinum Summit. Yeah, which has about 17 by 31, so let's just say around about a little over 500 square inches of cooking surface. And the two um, grates that we just talked about, they only provide about 400 and let's say 450 square inches of space. You see, they don't quite provide as much uh, grilling space as a eh, average size grill. In fact, I've got it marked, here's a one, you see, and here's a two, how many grates exactly square inch. So we wouldn't even be able to use the full the full grate. Actually, it comes to about to about right there. So that's what we that's all we have to uh, the space that we can use. Now, what if we could increase the number of grates that we had in the Weber? What would we get? Well, let's see. If we added a third grate, something like that. we'd have space out to here where it says three. If we could add a fourth grate, we'd get spaced out here on my burner where it says four. And if we could add a fifth grate, I gotta go get it first. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Planning is wonderful. If we could add a fifth grate, it'd take me all the way to the end of my, my grill here and hang out over into space. So what we would end up with would be the same thing with five grates as a grill surface. It'd be 17 inches wide, or deep I should say, by five and a half feet, 65 inches long. That'd be a pretty nice sized smoker when you think about it. And just think if we could go from just this to all this for just the cost of grates. We'd have something, right, we'd have something to talk about. Well, let's talk about it. Now, there's quite a bit of space inside of the WSM between the bottom grate up here to where the top grate sits. And that, that distance is about seven and three quarters inches. And that's quite a bit of space. And then we've got a little bit of space above it that pick, gets picked up in the curvature of the lid as well. What if we could use all that space? Well, that's what this... Uh, a you know, little invention that I have does takes advantage of all that space. Let me show you how it works. But before I do that, let me explain something here. My first few uh, generations of this this product dealt with modifying the support strip that's inside the WSM. I tried putting different notches at different heights and then modifying a grate that could slide in down over it and then lock into place. It worked fantastically, but getting it in and out was a little dangerous, twisting and turning and hoping everything locked up right. So, uh, and it involved doing retrofits on the system, which some guys are really good at, but some guys really don't want to fool with. So, I got another idea. I got the idea from the, uh, the, the design of the existing uh, front grate for the WSM. See, it has a handle on it, which, by the way, let me make another side note. Have you ever tried taking a pork butt out of the bottom of one of these things? with no handles on that bottom grate, it can be tricky. Trying to scoop it up and dig your arms in there. I've had pork butts end up on the deck because of that. So anyway, back to the design of handles. So I started looking at handles and things, which is what led me to uh, my design. Now, my first few designs are gone. I'd uh, kind of gotten with some manufacturers uh, who managed to walk off with them, but uh, I've got the third and fourth generations and 
a fifth one that's off at a weld shop right now, but let me show you what we've got so far. This is the, uh, I guess, the third generation, and you see it's done with, uh, with flat iron, and the reason it's done that way is because I don't have a welder, so I had to just use rivets and some stuff I bought at Lowe's. And what this is, you'll see, is a handle that sits above the grate, and it has a little flanged edges on it. What this allows you to do is, of course, be able to grasp your uh, your food and lift it right out of the uh, the Weber. But also, these vertical things allow one a a, 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 a grill grate exactly like it to fit into it and lock it into place. You see, the the vertical thing locks it in place. These things now can't slide around, move around, and yet they can be just about put in just about any way you want on top of each other without regard to direction or sliding in and everything. They just stack on top of each other. This is the, uh, the fourth generation. It was done with round stock, and I got uh, sprung a few bucks and went to a weld shop. And you see it's just uh, round stock welded onto the grate with a bar that goes across. Again, following the same basic design, it has a lifting handle that allows you to take it. The dimensions are the same and allows you to stack that right on top of the other one. So now we're at three uh, stackers and I'm going to go ahead and finish this thing off and put the fourth and fifth stacker on there. Okay, I've got four of the, the grill grate stackers uh, stuck together and what those do is that comes right up to the point where the original grill grate would go and then sticks up just a little bit to take advantage of some space and then the topper is you can put a flat one, a flat grate on top of that gives you five shelves to stack uh, meat in. Now the dimensions on this, the distance between each one of these is roughly two and a half inches. And I chose two and a half inches because one, it took advantage of the 2.75, uh, 7.75 inches gap that's inside the smoker. And also it allowed me to get five full shelves inside the system. Now I've done, I, I, I did random samples of the heights of ribs, uh, being uh, baby backs and St. Louis cut ribs, and uh, tried it several times, and you know what? They fit. Now if you get some really curvy baby racks, you may have a, a tight fit, but you won't be shut out. St. Louis cuts, no problem. Spare ribs, no problem. Now how many ribs can I get in on this contraption? Well I found if you cut your, uh, your ribs right, you can get uh, two racks of well trimmed ribs on one grate. So with five grate you can get ten racks of ribs going in your smoker at one time. And you'll see that's what the, the rack system, all five racks, looks like inside the, uh, the WSM and you'll see that I can put the lid on it and everything fits just fine. Pretty cool. Now, you know, Green Egg's got a, a product that you could actually go a little bit more pyramid and have a smaller one and a, and a smaller grate and a smaller grate on top of it and almost make a dome shaped thing on it, but you know, 10 racks of ribs is a lot of ribs. And uh, so that's basically the deal right there. So I guess my uh, the basic question here, what's better to have two or five? And the nice thing is you can have whatever you want. You can have two, three, four, five. The other questions I have is, you know, that you could make these things with a one inch spacing for things like fish, drumsticks, and stuff like that, which would get you way up into the uh, around 10 racks. You could also make them about three and a half inches, three and three quarters inches tall and then you could actually st stack three briskets in there versus two. There's all sorts of combinations. Uh, this is my uh, evil genius uh, research center here. It's really the side of my house. I of course my vice. This is my shear for cutting metal my drill press, grinder, chop saw, uh, radio, uh, necessary equipment.
And I'm working on a couple new designs that I'm going to share one with you. You know, I mentioned the fact that you know that this thing was designed around ribs at the uh, two and a half inch uh, level, around two and a half inches. And I'm messing with right now is this. It's basically you see it's the same design as the handle, but the vertical part has holes in it. What this would allow you to do is make it adjustable, where you could, um, but how, the, how it mounts, and I don't have any here because at the weld shop right now, some grates will have a little tab like this on it with a hole in it. That's it. And then this piece here could be adjusted up and down with a wing nut that would, would hold it in place. But, you know, I'd appreciate your input on that because I'm thinking start with ribs and then maybe see where this thing goes and uh, go from there without getting too crazy up front. What do you think? Well, okay, Craig, so uh, that's uh, a quick idea of what, what I've been working on for the last year and a half, and uh, regardless of what you think about it being something feasible or not, I just got to thank you for your website and your, uh, your news articles and stuff, because uh, it's been a, a strong part of what I've done to work on this thing, to learn the different cuts of meat, learn how to, and of course, measuring them and knowing stuff about them. But uh, I got to tell you, about, about a year and a half from this whole, when I started working on this thing, I, uh, I was real sick and in the hospital a lot, but at least I had a laptop and spent the, a lot of that time uh, going over every word and trying to learn about this before I started on this project. Uh, this is just baby steps still, but the most important next step is just to hear what you have to say about it. And uh, also, thanks a lot, uh, again, from a Chicago boy to another Chicago boy. We've got to stick together. I'm in Texas. <laughs> I really need help. But anyway, thanks a lot uh, for taking a look at this video, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot, man.